So Super Booth 2018 with uh, David from Sound Machines. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Yeah. So, uh, three products here that we'll look at first. Um, where would you like to start? Um, or let's start from the Arches, that is yeah. our current uh, uh, new product and is uh, under Kickstarter campaign at the moment. We reached uh, in a uh, week 80%, uh, so we are confident that we will uh, go for the for the win in this case. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, it will it will uh, it will uh, end at the end of uh, the month, and, and we we have. Uh, uh, the, we will have the product ready uh, more or less at the end of July. So okay. the, the first shipment for the backers will happen at the end of July and then it will go retail uh, uh, more or less one or two months later. Okay, good. Yeah, just an indication, the, 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 uh, the, the price for the campaign is $7.50 whereas on the market it will be $8.99. So there is obviously a some savings to be made. Yeah, some saving to be made for the backers. Uh, what it is, uh, this is a, we call it a universal tactile interface. Uh, as you can see, it has a lot of uh, uh, different outputs. So we have uh, 30 control voltage outputs that are fully configurable between uh, CV, gate, uh, with different standards, etc. And we have a bunch of uh, uh, tactile surface. Uh, we have uh, like our light pads uh, and our light strips. This, in the final revision, this is a prototype, will also record what we are doing. But the most okay. important thing is that you can define virtual keyboards on the surface. For example, in this case, uh, we made uh, the first part on the left as, uh, as a keyboard. We associated uh, uh, some pitches. Uh, associating pitches is really simple. You just select here with the map, there is a small map of the surface, sorry, and you just select the, 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 the element, and you select the MIDI note, the channel, and also the standard that will have the, 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 the output. For each keyboard you will have normally three outputs, you have a, a gate, a pitch information, and obviously an expression information. <laughs> For this one will be the position of your finger on the strip. Uh, for this other one here will be the pressure of your finger on the button because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pressure sensitive, okay? Here you have uh, both uh, uh, X, Y and also Z because there's a pressure sensitive also this one. Okay. So uh, the, 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 the main aspect is that you can group some elements to form a keyboard and have the information from this keyboard go out for, uh, from the CV output or the MIDI interface because this will also be MIDI. And you can also access, for example, with uh, uh, using the, the free elements that you will have uh, uh, if, you, if you're not using all the available keyboards, you will have free elements that you can associate also to MIDI control change okay. and to different MIDI channels. So you can control with the same machine, I don't know, uh, a couple of Eurorack uh, synth, like in this case, uh, but also um, uh, um, a wireless uh, Bluetooth MIDI connection on the iPad, for example, yeah. because it will also have a wireless Bluetooth MIDI. Okay. Uh, it can obviously uh, generate or, or receive clock information, both via trigger or uh, the MIDI channel. And uh, uh, finally, Everything that you configure can be saved in presets or performances yeah. and you can easily recall by this two navigation button here and you will see the big number on the, on the, on the display that say, okay, performance 1, 2, performance 100. Uh, we will provide the user with a small booklet and 32 already implemented uh, performances so he doesn't have to, to go deeper. Uh, apart from obviously setting the notes that is, is interesting in generating. Yeah. So, uh, this is currently under the final phase of the development and we, uh, we, we had a lot of interest for this kind of interface also because uh, you will have really the possibility to drive your performance from a, yeah, from a single seat. So yeah, whether that's modular, laptop, desktop unit, iPad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 
there are lots of CV outputs already on the on the on the unit, but you can also augment this with the external MIDI stuff. So it's a really interesting, an expressive instrument. It's it's an almost an instrument, even yeah. if it's not producing actually sound itself. Sound. Yeah, exactly. So it turns other things that that you have to control with external gear into an instrument when you pair them together. Yeah, yeah. The the, the idea is to have something that that go beyond the classic, uh, uh, you know, pianist piano style keyboard, uh, and uh, also because many people maybe comes from uh, other kind of uh, of uh, of uh, of um, well, different musical yeah, backgrounds yeah, as exactly. well. A, a MIDI keyboard isn't great if you're not a keyboard player necessarily. Exactly. exactly. So in this case, you have a lot of controller under your under your yeah, under your finger in the real yeah. in the real sense of it. So we've also got a nice yeah. uh, compact drum station. Uh, this is a, <clears throat> our. Uh, it is an also new product for the for the for the super booth. Uh, actually, it's a packaging of our pre-existing modules. As you can see, we have four different uh, um, light strip that are our uh, yeah famous. I can say that because there are many many rigs at the moment. Yeah. Uh, uh, touch interface and CV generators and loopers. Uh, we have the DC1 drum computer trigger sequences, eight tracks, 16 steps, song mode, uh, the possibility to load and store patterns and to save it in an external SD card, etc. Uh, you have several controls here, but the real uh, interesting thing about the the drum computer is the presence of a uh, of four CV inputs that can be set to modify many parameters of the sequence and of the tracks. Uh, we have a, a little demo here. Sorry. And yeah, basically. Uh, here you, you can already see one function. We can do polyrhythm because we can choose with this uh, button here, LAN, uh, individual length for all the track. And this is a per pattern uh, setting. setting. Yeah, exactly. Uh, or you, we can have the, the global length. Uh, yeah, you can, you know, you can, you can set whatever, whatever you want. And, uh, uh, you, you move the shuffle manually or via CV. Okay, let it set at 73%. Okay, obviously you can change the, the tempo. And uh, returning to the CV, in this case I put the A uh, on the randomizing on the second uh, on the second uh, second part. Second part is the is the is the the the. Uh, I hat. Uh, let me take away some of the hats, so you can see here that that we can, uh, run. yeah. Okay. Then we have the the randomization on the third. That is the the, the snare sound. So if you do some uh, some kind of uh, automation here. You will have the pattern that is that is changing uh, uh, during the during the, the cycling of the of the loop uh, of the control voltage. Uh, obviously, regarding the SD1, you have some uh, 80 PCM sounds inside. Uh, they are divided by categories like uh, yeah, bass drum, close and open a hat, snare, and two general percussion. Uh, here we have the rolls on the second, and uh, is the yeah with the seam. So you can see that uh, you can hear more or less that uh, you can you can do some rolls on the second uh, on the second uh, uh, track that is uh, uh, modified by the random uh, CV that appear at the input of the other one. So by putting together all this information, you can have a, a lot of variation in your fixed pattern. Um, now we can see something here. We, you can change the you can change the sound on the on the drum on the drum machine, and you can see also that uh, uh, there are some modes in which we can change uh, uh, several uh, several stuff um, from the CV input. There is a CV input that normally is due for accent, 
yeah. but it has some uh, new uh, variation, like for example, this should be the... It's a kind of... Uh, you can change in real time the this instrument on the last uh, on the last uh, on the last uh, on the last channel this one that is the drive driven by the the last uh, the last row now this control voltage the variation is scanning the last channel of instruments so you can see that there are some uh, there are some variation in the in the instrument of the last channel. Uh, you can also have uh, okay the sand effect. There is a small there is small reverb inside, and so with the with the control voltage you can change the level of the reverb, for example. So again, by using uh, some some kind of automation and randomization you can uh, put the reverb where uh, where you, where you don't expect it yeah there is also actually a, a small synthesizer mode where you sacrifice the last two channel and you have a quantized uh, midi synth inside okay you, to, you can choose between 16 sounds it's very simple stuff but uh, it could be nice to have a small uh, unit that can also do some bus lines, etc. Yeah. So, so this is the, the drum station. This will be available from next month, and it uh, obviously we, we put it into a, uh, a, a um, uh, bespoke uh, enclosure yep. with an internal power supply, and as all of the other uh, uh, instruments, it has uh, also a, a standard VES mount. So you can mount it on this kind of uh, monitor stands to to uh, leave. Uh, it's a really nice way to arrange your... a studio or a stage, actually, to have things mounted up out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's a cheap and uh, and uh, available solution. So it can be it can be good. Uh, this would be 850, including taxes. Okay. The final customer. It is more or less. Uh, uh, 150 euro less than buying the single each individual yeah, bit modules, and, and you, you get the case and the yeah, power exactly. So it is a, something that is a uh, that was designed for persons that maybe doesn't want to have a full modular system with case, power supply, etc., but want to start uh, with a fully modular drumming solution. Obviously, you can extract the panel from here and house it into your system. Because yep. it's a completely standard uh, Eurorack 42 HP panel. Okay. Okay. Oh, the last we one. Got yeah. The synth voice up top. The synth voice is. This is not a new product, but we are presenting in black, just to be, uh, you know, coherent with all the other uh, devices. It's our, uh, uh, yeah, uh, pretty much uh, stable and uh, and um, already on the market solution for an all-in-one. Uh, modular synthesizer this is not a semi modular because it is actually composed of 25 different modules that uh, normally doesn't have any connection so the the jacks are not normaled the only thing that you can do to ease a little bit uh, your life when you buy it is to push the synth button and this will uh, electronically inside with uh, the analog switches will implement a classic signal path with uh, you know oscillator, filter, VCA, and modulation on uh, from the envelope to the filter and to the VCA. Otherwise, when the light is uh, turned off, uh, everything is freely patchable. And you have also, yeah, you have two, two oscillators. There is also a MIDI oscillator. It's a square wave coming directly from the MIDI information. Uh, you have a quantizer, a ribbon controller, uh, a a digital patch panel with uh, logic and clock uh, uh, dividers that is uh, that is really nice to play with. You have a DSP unit with uh, several programs of delays and reverbs. Uh, many small mixers scattered around the, the panel, uh, multiples. You got a sample and old. You got a slew controller, another LFO. Uh, attenuators, uh, voltage generators uh, with a single port uh, and you get a very interesting MIDI implementation where you have uh, 
the possibility to be a host controller, so to connect directly a, a bit step, for example, yep. or something like that, and to output also two control voltages via CC, one MIDI controlled attenuator and one MIDI controlled slew controller. So it's pretty much a, a, yeah above average MIDI implementation yeah. for 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 a, for, a, for a standard synth. Uh, last but not least. It is uh, okay. It's getting MIDI clock, and it uh, presents on this output as uh, just as 16th. And uh, uh, last but not least, uh, is uh, can be powered by USB, so you can just touch to your PC, and the modular get uh, the full uh, the full uh, range of of, uh, of possibilities. Yeah. Then you have also the 12 the 12 volts. Obviously, even this one, you can detach it from the from the case. enclosure, from the case, and put into your case. It's an 8484 HP. I should say for anyone wanting a really detailed look at this, last year we went through the white version yeah, yeah, in great yeah. detail, and we got some great sounds as well. Yeah, it's, um, uh, it's a very, uh, I mean, a, a very traditional, if you want, but uh, it has a lot of different stuff that can be uh, that are not found normally on this kind of. Uh, Way more core. than a basic yeah. semi-modular. There's a lot more yeah. utility, like you said, lots of mixers, a sample and hold, yeah, multi yeah, slews. Yeah. In this case, uh, I showed you it before. Just uh, with easily, you can obtain two two different, uh, very different sounding uh, uh, um, voices from the single machine using the same uh, uh, the same object, uh, the same DSP effect, uh, and just using the. Uh, I'm just using here the slew controller as an envelope, for example, or the mixers that are around to mix the, the two voices. So uh, it is pretty much uh, um, a good compromise between size and and uh, and uh, and, uh, and also portability and capabilities because it has a lot of a uh, lot of stuff going on. So great. It's been a good, uh, a good uh, object on the market with a yeah. brilliant well thank you very much yeah